The Pacific Northwest has an abundance of medicinal plants. I find that the most potent plants are the ones that grow where you are. They have the medicine that we need. One thing in my practice is I never ever harvest the first plant that I see because it might be the only one there. So I will explore the area and see how abundant is the plant that I'm looking for. If it's not very abundant, I walk away and don't harvest anything. If there's plenty, I never take more than 10% of what's there. There's a lot of look-alike plants. One might be deadly poisonous, another one might be this amazing plant medicine. So make sure you know what you're doing and do your due diligence to understand that some plants you can take a huge dose of it and it won't hurt you. Others, you make a tincture and two or three drops would be the maximum dose you would take. The potency is so much greater when you harvest them, you know their source, you know that they're healthy plants when you harvest them. You've handled it every step of the way to make sure they're handled and processed in a timely manner and in proper ways. So this plant is called cleavers. I cut it up to make it a little bit smaller and dehydrated it. Then we're going to make tincture out of it. For every one dry ounce of plant material, we'll use five fluid ounces of 50% alcohol, 50% water. And then we'll label this with what it is, the date, and it's set aside in a dark place for at least several weeks. After that time period, it's strained through muslin and goes into a colored bottle and it's ready to use. Cleavers is a gentle lymphatic tonic and gentle doesn't necessarily mean that it's weak. So with a tincture, you will, generally I would do one to two droppers full. Four times a day, you put, mix it with a little bit of water to cut the alcohol and you drink it.